Hi guys, Jessie from the Scrappy Sisters. So in this video I am creating a layout with of my son with two of the Melbourne Football Club players. Um we are if you're not from Australia you've no idea what I'm talking about, but this is one of our sports, um AFL, Australian football. And this is the team that his father is obsessed with. So we went to their family day. We were really lucky that their family day was literally walking distance from our house. So we wandered on down to have a kick of the footy and to meet the boys. And Jack was not really that interested. He was far too young, but his dad was excited. And these two players are both called Jack. So it is a bit of his namesake, I suppose you might say. So the three Jacks all together, the three demons, because that's the mascot for the team. So if you are an Aussie and you follow Australian rules football, I uh, hope you support Melbourne because that's what's happening. <laughs> I did decide that I probably didn't need a red and navy layer I thought that might be a little bit too much so I am using the Jennifer Hadley is that her name uh, trends 2 trends 2 my trends your trends oh sorry um collection lots of gorgeous colors lots of gold it is super cute um to create this little layout uh quite a simple one I have uh, on this particular day I am at the kitchen table because my sister is also scrapping at the same time literally right next to me hence why there's a lovely delicious bowl of lollies right there beside us um, and I looked at her when this was finished I'm like this is the quickest layout I've done in forever I'm not a very quick scrapbooker so I was quite impressed with myself. I didn't even really edit that much out of this, which I probably should have. Apologies for those of you that don't like watching 15 minute tutorial videos. Um, hopefully you're just scrapping along with me so you don't mind too much. Um, but yeah, I was really proud of myself with how quick this one was. So I just backed the photographs on a watermelon color and a black color didn't think you needed to watch that and oh popping on the date stamp because I'd written the date on the back of the photographs and I knew I would forget so I'm just quickly doing that now before I forget I date stamp all of my layouts and where possible every single one is down in that bottom corner if for some reason I'm unable to date stamp it there because there's an embellishment there or something like that I'd put it uh, on the other side so that little contraption you saw there was my hole punch. I've got three of them in three different sizes. They're like a springy pen. You hold it down um, onto the page and you pull the top up on a spring and let it go and it goes bang and um, pops a hole into the paper. You can also use it to put eyelets in. So you, turn, you then flip it around and turn it the other way, the other end up and uh, pop it around the metal eyelet and again you pull it back and let it go and it goes bang and it um closes the the black uh, the metal clasp around the eyelet so really handy little tool um you may have seen earlier that I had the tag with the pink stripes on it I didn't want to use that one partly because it was pink and that didn't go with what was happening with the photos but mostly because it was too small so I cut my own out uh, of this black and cream paper because I felt that that was a better colouring. And just tying little bows at the top quite fiddly, but I thought the bows would be cute. So I'm really happy with all that. So I pop all that down, pin all that down, um, double-sided tape all that down. But I'm just thinking about what to do next. I decide that the little black and white need something else going on so I cut little mini tags to go on top of those tags and then I'm going to pop my embellishments and my decorations on top of just those two little clusters and I kind of want them to mirror each other I want them to um, 
be really similar on both sides. So this was a kit that I got. So I'm looking through the cut apart sheet that comes with that kit to see what kind of things I think will work with the layout. I've had this kit for a really long time. I think it's possibly from December 2016. But I'm not actually no, it is from December 2016. I've had it for a really long time. So I can't even hardly remember what is in this kit anymore. So I'm just fiddling around to see what I think will suit and how I can lay out these two sides to be the same but not exactly the same. So I have stuck down the um, tags on the left. So I put a few um, labels, I suppose you'd say, blank things down, which is exactly what I'm doing on the right now. And then I put the black epic and I put that tiny little tag because I thought that was super cute. So those things are exactly the same on both sides and same with that little square, um, you know, fun times is the same on both sides. But then I sort of wanted to change it up just a little. So I pulled out the sticker sheet that goes with the collection and popped those um, sort of arrows on. And then I just wonder what to do next. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Um, I'm starting to think there's not much else I can do. So I pop on my title, which... My lovely sister prepared earlier for me. So much quicker and easier when someone else gets your title ready. Um, so I popped on my title and then I think there's not much else I can do um, just by looking. I'm like, mm, I don't really know where else I want to put embellishments. There wasn't really any other embellishments to use. I think I'm done. So pop on a few enamel dots. The kit only had four enamel dots in them, I think it was so I used all of those and then I'm done did come with sequins but I decided sequins didn't quite work the layout so I just have a bit of a tidy up having a look at what I have left and nothing else really suits me so pop on the Heidi shine hoping that's gonna jazz it up a little bit um Katie promptly tells me that I'm not Heidi shining correctly so I pass over to her so that she does it so here comes Katie's hands to take over Heidi shining because apparently that's the correct way to do it looks exactly the same to me so what would I know um and then I am done so here is my three jacks layout I hope you like it I hope it inspires you to do something there was Katie pointing at who even knows what um hopefully yeah this was a helpful layout for you and it encourages you to do one yourself thanks guys stay tuned for more next time bye